Tabacal province. What can you tell us? Tabacal was once a major coffee producer, but over the last few years, Santa Blanca has forced the coffee growers to become cocoleros instead, growing leaf exclusively for the cartel. Who's our target? A cartel boss named Madra Coca. The cocoleros are terrified of her. Take a look at the video I just sent and you understand why. She runs Tabacal like her own mini cartel. Production of coca leaf, distribution by truck and train, and enough security to keep the cocoleros in line and the convoy secure. All of it run with ruthless efficiency. I'm in contact with a small group of rebels. They're willing to help us fight the cartel if we can prove our good intentions. You got any suggestions? Two things you can do to earn their trust. First, an old cocolero named Chavez has been trying to get the farmers to stand up to the cartel. Word is he's giving a speech to the cocoleros at the agricultural cooperative. Make contact with him there and keep him safe. What else? Supposedly, the cartel collects their coca in this province from a single farm. Ambush the cartel when they come for the coca. That should send a message to the cocoleros and disrupt Madrococa's production. Ruperta Faro, Madre Coca. They used to grow coffee here in Tabacal. But the cartels made them switch to coca. A lot more profitable. If you ever tried to snort Italian roast, you'll know why. Spoiler alert, this is frowned upon at coffee shops. Don't ask. Madra Coca grew up as a raspuccina, a coca picker. When it comes to illegal coca farms, there's no such thing as child labor laws. It was brutal, backbreaking work. She had a son whom she'd always dream would move on to better things. He didn't. Young Pablo died from a coke overdose. How does a mother who grows coca deal with growing the product that killed her own kid? Most people see the error of their ways and move on to something else. For Madra Coca, it was the exact opposite. She took out her anger on the people of Tabacal, forcing them to endure the same hardship she had experienced. And like any tyrant, she expanded her empire. This led to resentment from the people, which she dealt with. With the backing of El Yeyo, she became a very powerful woman in the cartel. A new twist on an age-old lesson. You don't fuck with mama. <laughs>